Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Youth Man. This is going to be an incredible video. What would you do if you had $100,000 to spend on your home theater? Well, my buddy Giovanni did just that. His home theater is amazing. And I'm going to be sharing with you the details in this video in the home theater of the month. But before we get into the video, if you're into home theater, audio and video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right, guys, today I'm excited to kick off a new series on this channel, the home theater of the month. Now, I met up with Giovanni just last month. He invited me over to his home, met him in a Facebook group, an audio Facebook group, and uh, I just commented on his home theater. He had posted a picture of it, and I was like, wow, brother, that looks amazing. And he found out that I was pretty local to him, and he invited me over. And so last, I guess about two weeks ago, I went over and spent about six hours in his home theater. Absolutely amazing. And so in this video, man, I want to share with you this beautiful system, this B&W premium quality, gorgeous and amazing sounding Dolby Atmos as well as RO 3D home theater. So enough talking, let's check out this amazing home theater. Up front, he has the B&W 803D3 as his main left and right speakers. The 803s are a three-way design with dual seven-inch aerofoil cone-based drivers, a single five-inch continuum cone FTS mid-range driver, and a one-inch diamond impregnated dome tweeter. Each of the main speakers can handle up to 500 watts continuous at eight ohms and can handle down to 19 hertz. They have a sensitivity of 90 decibels and weigh 144 pounds. The 803 D3s are beautiful. I mean, absolutely gorgeous in this beautiful white finish. With each curve, there's just this beauty and finesse and just a gorgeous presentation. All of the dialogue is handled by the BMW HTM1 D3 center channel. Now this is a monster of a center channel. It has a one inch diamond tweeter, a six inch mid-range, and dual eight inch aerofoil cone based drivers. On the inside of the 803 D3s, we have dual REL 212 SE subwoofers. Now these aren't your typical subwoofers. They each contain dual 12 inch active long throw woofers, as well as a 12 inch down firing passive, and a 12 inch rear firing passive radiator. Each subwoofer contains a 1000 RMS class D amplifier, weighs 122 pounds, and will handle down to 19 Hertz. For the front height, surrounds, and surround backs, he has the BMW M1s. The M1s are mounted in the front above the TV, to the sides as side surrounds, as well as in the back for surround backs. Each M1 has a four inch driver and a one inch tweeter. In the ceiling, he has four BMW CCM663 in ceiling speakers for Dolby Atmos, as well as two mounted in the center of the room for Oro 3D or the Voice of God channel. In the center of this beautiful stone wall features a Sony Bravia 77 inch OLED 
A1E 4K HDR and IMAX enhanced display. Housing all of the components is a BDI cabinet. The speakers are being driven by Denon's flagship receiver, the AVR-X 8500H, which is a 13.2 channel receiver and will process Dolby Atmos, DTSX, as well as Oro 3D. The Denon is powering all of the speakers except for the front three speakers. The BMW 803 D3 main speakers, as well as the BMW HTM1 D3 center channel are all being powered by an incredible powerhouse of an amplifier, the Arkham P349. The Arkham provides 180 watts by three at eight ohms and 400 by three watts at four ohms and weighs 40 pounds. All three speakers are set up in a bi-amp configuration. Protecting all the equipment is a Furman power conditioner. Blu-ray and UHD content is handled by the Oppo UHD 203. Also tucked away into the cabinet is an Apple TV, a Sony PS4, Nintendo Switch, Verizon Fios DVR, as well as an Alexa show. His entire system, including the lighting and the shades, can be controlled by a Savant control system. The Savant control system provides complete control over all of the electronics, presets, as well as the lights and the shades. Speaking of lights, all of the lights are controlled by a Lutron Cassetta wireless system and throughout the home theater are Savant bulbs. The room is completely light controlled thanks to the Lutron Serena auto shades. Now with the touch of a button on the Savant control system, the shades can be either lowered or raised. And for those times that you need to be quiet when the kids are asleep, Giovanni has two pair of BMW PX wireless headphones. And as with most home theaters, they're truly never finished. Some of the future upgrades are the BMW 805 D3s for the rear surround, another Arkham amp, a Kaleidoscape server, as well as acoustic panels. Now from the very moment that I stepped foot in his home theater, I realized that Giovanni spent a lot of time doing research and just really hand picking the components that he wanted. One of the things that he mentioned to me is he could definitely go out and buy some big subwoofers and subwoofers that would provide a lot of boom and just really shake his room. But he was looking for something that had a lot more control that would provide a lot of output, but wasn't just about SPL. And that's why he went with the REL212 SE subwoofers. Giovanni's theater seating is pretty unique. It's not your typical theater seats, because this is in a standard living room. Each one of the sectional theater seats has their own controls for recline, as well as a handy headrest. So from the moment that I walked into his theater room, it was literally breathtaking. From the stone on the wall, to these beautiful curves on the BMWs, to the massive center channel that's on display and on the stand. It just has this style of elegance and class and beauty. Man, I was just kind of taken back by the beauty of it. I'm one of those guys that can really, really appreciate quality and beauty. And that's one thing that I've always loved about BMW speakers. Yes, they're quite expensive, but man, they put a whole lot of craftsmanship and style and just artistic beauty in everything that they build. And the white finish makes it look really elegant, clean, as well as modern. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we spent about six hours just hanging out, talking home theater, and going through a lot of demos. And so you may be thinking, man, that's a lot of money to put in a system. How does it sound? Well, I can tell you, it sounded incredible. Absolutely incredible. We had a chance to spend about six hours hanging out in his home theater, going through all kinds of demo material from the Dolby Atmos discs to the DTS-X discs. I even brought over my Oro 3D discs. And so we went through a lot of demo content from that. But one of my favorite demos that Giovanni put in was from the movie Fury. There's a scene in Fury where the tanks roll up and you've got the enemy, they're kind of hanging out in the bush over here and some of them are kind of underground in these little um, 
kind of channels. And so they're just waiting on the tanks to arrive and they're basically about to ambush them. And so when they start firing, the tanks start lighting up this forest over here. And when those tanks launched those cannons, holy cow. Now again, this wasn't just boom. This was like tight, punchy, but oh my goodness, you could feel it in your chest and your legs every time one of those cannons fired from the tanks. It was just a beautiful sound. The center channel handled dialogue as well as all of the action that you saw on the screen. Man, it just really anchored it because it's right below his 77 inch OLED display. And one thing that I can appreciate is all of the tweeters are at ear level. I mean, they're exactly in line with your ears. And so you have this beautiful seamless front sound stage just firing at you with every emotion, with every battle, with every gunshot, with every explosion, you just get this wave of sound that was just fantastic. Now, one thing that Giovanni has received a lot of criticism on his home theater is his choice of surrounds. Now, up front, you've got these big, massive speakers, the 803 D3s, this humongous center channel. And then on the walls, you've got these little bitty, relatively small M1 BMW speakers. Well guys, I'm going to tell you right now, those M1s have an incredible amount of sound, especially for their size. So a lot of guys think that, man, because they're small size, there's no possible way that they can keep up with those massive towers and that humongous center channel. But I'm here to tell you guys, they had no problem keeping up. I mean, we were cranking this system. It was pretty stinking loud. And honestly, I like it loud but Giovanni likes it a little bit louder than I do. There was no distortion. There was no um, hint of them being able not to compete and not being able to hang with that front sound stage. They provided a huge sound and this beautiful bubble of a sound because you've got the overhead in ceiling speakers and then the side surrounds with the M1s and they all just blended beautifully. And honestly, guys, I was really surprised myself. I'm looking at them going, oh, wow, those are kind of dinky. You know, they look tiny. But the good thing, they provide a huge sound. They sounded great, crystal clear. I mean, these things had a lot of detail in them. And what was really cool, too, is they just were very directional. In my theater room, I've got wide dispersions for the sides and wide dispersions for the rears. But honestly, after hearing a direct firing for the sides and the front height, as well as the rear surrounds, I probably would consider switching out mine for something like that that have direct firing um, as opposed to a wide dispersion sound. So during the Atmos tracks and the Oro 3D, you know, you could pinpoint where the sound was coming from, which was really cool. And they were able to get real creative in that Dolby Atmos mix, as well as the Oro 3D mix. Now I also was curious to hear how the system sounded with music. And so I ended up bringing over the Hans Zimmer Live in Prague uh, Blu-ray disc, but of course Giovanni already had it. And so man, we popped it in and we listened to like the Pirates of the Caribbean and several tracks from that. And the orchestra just really came alive. I mean, it was phenomenal. And again, of course, Giovanni liked to keep it kind of loud, but it just sounded beautiful did not have any hint of fatigue. There wasn't any hint of, you know, the speakers running out of gas because they had plenty of power from the Arkham amplifier. So it was just a really, really well balanced system. From the top end, the mid range, as well as the surrounds and the subwoofers, they all just were blended incredible. Giovanni worked with an incredible designer over in the Tampa Bay area named David Caradona. David did an incredible job designing this beautiful and incredible sounding home theater and they worked with Magnolia Design Center to do all of the installation. And so guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of Giovanni's home theater. Now you may not have $100,000 in your budget. I know I don't, but if you do, I hope this gives you some inspiration on what can be done even in a regular living room. This isn't a dedicated theater room, but my goodness, when the lights go out 
you've got this beautiful display, you've got this incredible sound, and it's easy to get super immersed into the movie. Now, one of the other things that Giovanni mentioned that he's probably going to move to is a projection screen. Now, he'll leave the 77 inch OLED uh, up front, and then out in front of that, there'll be a drop down screen that will come down from the ceiling, and then he'll have a projection system for that big movie experience. And so I'm looking forward to him getting that installed down the road. But guys, I thoroughly enjoyed Giovanni's system. And so if you ever get a chance to check out some of this gear, the BMWs, the 803s, go over to Magnolia. I believe they've got those on display. Now, of course, it's different hearing it in a design center versus in someone's home. But I can assure you guys, this was a phenomenal system. Now I'll leave a list of his equipment down in the description below. So if you're interested in checking out some of that equipment and some of that gear, you can click on the links below and it definitely helps out the channel. I also wanna encourage you to head over to youthmanreviews.com. On the homepage, there's a link to Giovanni's Home Theater of the Month. And so that'll take you to a whole photo gallery as well as a list of all of his equipment on that page. And so if you wanna kinda of check out some of those pictures in a higher resolution, you can check those out by visiting the website. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the Home Theater of the Month. As always, you guys be blessed, and we'll catch you in the next video.